Some companies don't just grow. They surge ahead, riding powerful mega trends and creating massive wealth. Today, we will explore two such rising stars in India, one in fluorochemicals and another in semiconductors. Stalin India Limited Fluorochemicals Limited and CG Power Industrial and Solutions Limited. Both companies are scaling fast, taking advantage of mega trends in semiconductors, power and manufacturing backed by strong fundamentals, market leadership and investor confidence. Let's unpack their growth story, key numbers and risks. Hey there, I am Palani, a technologist turned investor and an early retiree. I share my experiences from 20 plus years of investing in US and in India. This material is for educational purposes only, not a buy or sell recommendation. Investing involves risk. Do your own research before investing. Before you watch this video further, a small request. 87% of the audience who are watching this video are not subscribed to this channel. In order for this material to reach and benefit more audiences like you, I request all of you to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. I am very excited about Stallion Fluorochemicals and CG Power, two companies that are in great spot to take advantage of long-term mega trends in semiconductor, electronics, power and manufacturing. Without further ado, let us jump right in. First on our list is Stallion India Fluorochemicals Limited. Stallion operates in the fluorochemicals and specialty chemical space, a sector directly linked to multiple mega trends in India and globally. The company manufactures fluoro polymers, refrigerants including HFCs and new generation HFOs and specialty fluorochemicals used across applications like HVAC, pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, lithium ion batteries, semiconductors, electronics on and on. This position stallions in the heart of India's energy and sustainability story. The stock is up 24% in the last one month with a significant trade volume. Let's now look into financials. In FY25, revenue grew by 62% to 377 crores, led by strong demand in specialty fluoropolymers and exports. Exports account for 60% of the revenue with major clients across US, Europe and Asia. Good thing is that stallion products are not impacted by US tariffs. EBITDA margins are at reasonable 13%. Supported by higher value added product mix, number of strategic initiatives, sorry, initiatives including backward and forward integration is expected to improve margin by 3 to 4 percent in the coming years. PAT grew by 110 percent to rupees 32 crores. The balance sheet is strong with the low debt to equity of 0 0.01, giving enormous room for expansion. The stock has seen strong momentum rallying 35% in the last one year as investors bet on fluorochemicals long runway. On valuation P by E of 38 and uh, price to book ratio of 4.2 sounds reasonable considering the growth potential. Now let's look into some of the key risks. Raw material price volatility. Stallion depends on fluorospar imports and any supply chain disruptions can impact margins. Good news is that R32 and the entire range of 8 refrigerants will be manufactured in the new Rajasthan facility which will strengthen domestic manufacturing footprint and reduce import risk and dependency. Regulatory risk is the second one. As refrigerants face tighter environmental norms, quick adoption to next-gen HFOs and specialty chemicals is critical. Next one is the execution on scaling. Expanding into EV and battery chemicals requires flawless execution global certifications. Management headed by CEO Mr. Shazath is doing a great job getting the company ready to take advantage of the long-term mega trends. Next in our list is CG Power Systems. CG Power traditionally known for its power systems 
industrial motors and transformers has now made a bold leap into India's semiconductor ambitions. Its subsidiary CG Semi recently announced one of India's first full-fledged oversight facilities which is outsourced semiconductor assembly and testing facility. This is a huge milestone because India has long depended on imports not just for chip fabrication but also for packing, assembly and testing. The OSAT facility places CG power at the forefront of India's semiconductor push directly aligning with the government's Make in India chips mission and the global demand for diversified semiconductor supply chains. Order backlog remains robust at Rs. 11,900 crores and continues to be on the upward trajectory. Let's now look into financials. In FY25, revenue grew around 26% to 9,910 crores driven by strong growth in industrial systems, emerging semiconductor investments. EBITDA margins at around 15% is healthy for a diversified engineering player. Stock has rallied 29% in the last six months, fueled by investor optimism around CG Semi's OSAT facility. Now let's look at what are some key risks. One, execution risk in semiconductors. OSAT is highly capital intensive and technology driven. Good thing is that the OSAT facility commenced operation recently last month. Second, cyclicality. Semiconductor demand cycles are volatile. Oversupply periods can hurt margins. Third, competition. Established global OSAT players from Taiwan, Korea and the US already dominate the market. If you found value, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell to get more deep dives. Stay curious and stay invested. See you in the next video.